Hello, everybody. So about once a month, I do maintenance grooming on most of my dogs. And by maintenance grooming, I mean redoing the clipper work on the face, the ears, the throat, the private sanitary area, the belly, pads of the feet, do some trimming around the feet, maybe do the toenails, trim up the eyes a little bit, just to keep her in a maintained condition. We're getting into winter, and so I'm not ready to clip her this coat short. Um, I'd like to keep growing it out so she'll have more protection from the cold and the wet and stuff like that. But I can't just let everything grow out. She has to look kempt. So, like I said, about once a month, I go through, um, for most of the clipper work, uh, on the face, I might use a 10, ears, um, 15 on the outside, 30 on the inside for a salt and pepper. For a black, I might use um, more like a, a 10 here and an inside of 15. Top of the head, I usually do that uh, for a clippered coat. I do that with a 10. If it's a black dog or a dog with a bumpy skull, I might go reverse with the 7. Um, 10 back here in the sanitary area around the anus and the vulva um, and the belly. And then for the pads of the feet, I use a little narrow 5 8 blade because it fits into the, into the pads really nice. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of a demo here of the clipper work that I do. But if this is something that you would like to master for yourself, I do have a pre-made, uh, on-demand, at your own pace, maintenance clipper work course. And um, I'll put a link to that in the comments of this video to make it easy for you to get to. But it's step-by-step, -step, very um, broken down into one little step at a time with a close-up video and with diagrams about how to do the clipping so that you can feel comfortable that you're doing it safely, you're doing it correctly, and um, that you're going to get great results. So let me start this demo for you. And, um, you know, if it's something you think, hey, this doesn't look too hard, I could probably do this, then uh, by all means, check the video out. Uh, check the course out. You're a good girl. So this is the 10, just kind of generally getting some neatness. I'm not trying to go for perfect. But part of why I do this work regularly, especially in the winter time, when I'm growing the body coat out, or sometimes it's a dog I'm hand stripping and they're kind of in between things, is I don't want the dog to have gotten so long that that people begin to wonder, you know, if the dog is um, being groomed or being cared for. I would much rather have somebody wonder what in the world is that grooming that's being done than wonder is there grooming being done, right? So, um, you know, God forbid your dog were ever to get away. Um, I would much rather somebody find the dog and um, say, well, I don't know what this grooming is that they're doing here, but I can tell it's recent. Uh, that way they know that the dog is, uh, is being well cared for. And they're going to work harder to, uh, to reunite them. So again, like I said, this area I tend to use with a 10. And uh, it's getting toward the end of the day here for Selty, so I don't want to hold her up too long. So I'm going through this pretty quick. When we made the course, we did it over the over um, a couple of different weeks. We used uh, some multiple dogs to do demos so that um, 
We could give examples of salt and pepper. We could give examples of black dogs. Um, we can give examples with natural ears and cropped ears, um, dock tails, natural tails. Tried to include a little bit of everything in there just to make sure that um, we covered all the bases, all the areas that people might have questions about or want to see how to do. Um, now, obviously, I'm knocking this out pretty quick, but I've been grooming schnauzers for 30 years, and 25 of those I've been grooming them professionally, so um, I've got some pretty good practice under my belt. There's no reason to do it fast. Um, you know, you want to be, you want to do it carefully, you want to have routines that's where speed comes from is from having routines of always doing uh, things the same way over and over again so while you're learning your routines you want to take your time and you want to have clear instruction uh, the nice thing about a course that's on demand and you can play it whenever you want however often you want is you can go back and check if you don't remember something or if you struggle with it a little and you go, let me go check that out let me look that up again let me watch that part again get it fresh in your mind again and uh, that can be really helpful and another thing that can be really helpful is take a picture of the work you do each time and you'll see over time the improvement. You'll really be able to tell that you're doing it better and better each time when you follow a certain way of doing it, when you have your questions answered about how to do different areas. Like, how do I do the inside of the ear safely so I, I don't accidentally cut uh, that notch in the ear that a natural ear has? Um, how do I hold the clippers? What angles do I, do I go at? Those are really normal questions. And, um, the course has really good close-up video and diagrams of all of these steps and descriptions, all the things that I'm doing pretty quickly while I talk, uh, talk to you. These are all described in detail in the course uh, so that you know not just what to do, but you know why. So you know what to avoid doing and why. Because sometimes it's not enough um, to just know what. Sometimes you need or you like to know why and it can help you have better results, can help things make more sense, make it easier to explain to other people, any of those kind of things. So I'm just about finished up for this little quick session. I did her, before I started the video, I'd already done the pads of her feet. Uh, so I've done her feet, I've done her face, I've done her private. The only thing left to do for this little maintenance session is do her feet, which includes her toenails, trimming the about the feet. And um, because there's some basic scissoring that also needs to be done during your maintenance, the uh, course also includes a quick mini module on the basics of some some scissoring of the areas like the around the eyes and around the feet and uh, give you a real good start to grooming your own schnauzer at home. If you have any questions, always feel free to message me, put a comment uh, below or send me a message or you can email me for um, any questions or to set up a private instruction at strawhatstandards at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.